Okay, now we're starting to walk through Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly, on normal, obviously, because that's always why I do things on first. Hmm. This is the first time I've done a walkthrough in a while. Didn't we always promise each other? No. I try not to speak when they speak. Usually. We would always be together. I guess that's why people like my survival horror things, because usually, for some reason, I supposedly make them funny instead of scary. But they're supposed to be scary. And I gotta say, Fatal Frame 2? Much, much worse, I mean, creepier than Fatal Frame 1. And much better. And harder. And the graphics for these cutscenes look amazing for PS2, in my opinion. I used to play here all the time. Yeah. I wouldn't expect those kind of graphics on a PS2. Will be gone soon. Is your leg okay? Does it hurt? It Why did you bite my leg? I'm fine. The only way you can tell them to part is by their leggings. Yeah. LOL. Yes? Ooh, a butterfly. Like. Yes, I do narration while playing for those who don't know. Oh, looky. Little girl's running. Laughing. In a forest. Oh, shit. She fell. Poor little girl. That's gotta Where suck. About that time back then. Hey, that bitch left me alone on this Mayu? rock. Mayu. Ooh, a butterfly. Oh my god. Must chase Mayu! after... You wouldn't follow her if I was you. You might end up passing that stone, and that stone's gonna do something. Up, you passed it! Everything's gone dark and black. It's an emo paradise. I shouldn't have said that. Okay. No, stop! Wait! You know, I wouldn't follow Mario. that, her. <laughs> oh, that must be weird to see your son getting choked randomly. Seriously, how come she doesn't question it? I mean, for a second, she's like, what the hell? But really, in reality, she's not questioning why the woods just got freaking dark like that. What's going on? What's happening? Why is there a red butterfly in the first place? Well, there might be red butterflies, but still, it's weird. Maya? And yes, the running is exactly the same as in Fatal Frame 1. But I gotta say, this game is like a complete makeover on battle system, in my opinion. Yes, you remember Fatal Frame 1, how you could just charge up freely when, no matter how far away you were usually? Yeah? This game, you gotta get up close to the ghost for it to even charge up before you can shoot. Meaning, it won't do hardly any damage unless you're, like, directly in the ghost's weak area face, whatever. It's become a lot harder. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Also, ghosts usually travel in packs in this game. Oh, God. That's what I hate. That's what I really hated about Fatal Frame 1 was when the ghosts were in packs. Ooh, a butterfly! Huh. Where is this? I found you! That reminds me of the rope shrine maiden thing from- Oh my god, a butterfly! Butterfly. Hey, look, it's Mayu? you! Mayu. Ooh, a bunch of butterflies! Okay, I gotta stop doing that. Lost village. And yes, unlike Fatal Frame 1, this takes place in the village. Fatal Frame 1 entirely took place inside the uh, Hina Moro mansion, whatever their name was. The mansion. So yes, this is different. I've heard about this place. And I gotta say... A long time ago, there was a village here that disappeared during a festival. Okay, maybe I won't say People it. People get lost in the woods or trapped by the village. This be that place? Of course this is a place. It randomly turned dark. I'd be freaked out if I was you. Shut up. I gotta say, though, um... I don't remember. Okay, chapter one, The Lost Village. My intros will be based off the chapters, meaning if you might... Yeah, from the beginning to the end, I won't show nothing to spoil or I shush. 
But yes, this game just feels a lot harder. I gotta admit, this is like really my first time really playing this in a long time. I do remember most, but there might be certain points where I'm gonna be like, duh. And yes, just like always, when I did walkthroughs, I leave it up long enough for you, someone to read it. Just in case you actually want to read these notes. Well, pretty much what I do is I read it and I wait a few more seconds, then I click it. If you couldn't read it, you should go back and pause it. Or just pause it right now. <laughs> huh. It's a couple photo. Hmm, that female looks familiar. Why? You'll see. You know, I really wouldn't want to go to that village if I thought it was some kind of mystical, dis disappearing village. I'd be like, you know what, fuck this. This is just like the ring or the grudge all over again. Well, Fatal Frame and the has no relation to that, but whatever. This game, though, has a lot more freak-me-out moments mm -hmm. than the other one did. Here. I'm gonna say, if you're gonna play this, do not play it with mm -hmm. headphones on. Dear God, it could get you. you. Whoa, what's that? See, that wasn't meant to be creepy. That was just, uh, whoa, there's a hand. That's not something that got me. Mia, Maya, Mia, 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 Mia. But yes, uh -huh. I was, I, I play this with headphones on like I am right now. It can make me jump. Also, yes, you have to play through the game a second time to get the pictures of some of the little ghost thingies. For people who don't know, the filament, when it glows, uh, actually, I'll explain that when we get the camera. Right now, there's no point to explain the camera functions. Let's just push on into the house. People might remember this part from my third intro, my intro thing I did. I just cut a lot of scenes from this um, flashback that happens, but yes, it was changed. And a few scenes from Fail Frame 1. Isn't anybody here? No! Look behind the curtain, little girl. <laughs> Don't touch her, man. Maya? Don't do it. Something will happen. Don't do it. Uh-oh. 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 You did it. God, they'll fail frames are really... They always have these weird flashback things. I gotta admit, this part with headphones freaked me out for some reason. I'll be quiet. I mean, with loud headphones on while playing it. It's not creepy if you're watching it, but if you're playing it for some reason, it's just weird. This is like the ring, man. You're gonna die in seven days. I don't want to kill anyone. I do. <laughs> That's an insane laugh. What the hell was that? What was that? I don't know. You liar, you know I something. Know. Well, since we were stupid enough to wander in here in the first place, it's time to look around. Mew, don't go too far. Shut up. You're the slowest walker in any video game I've ever played. Yes, the girl following me at the moment. She is too slow. Oh yeah, the glowing of thingies. Those are items. Or notebooks. Like that. That's a notebook. You want to try... Well, I don't... I, I, mm. <sighs> the woman's notebook belongs to someone who... Well, for people who watched my first one, they remember you always went through the notebook things and you end up always fighting the person who is dealing with the notebook who's usually gone. Like the first one, Fail Frame 1, the editor, how we kept finding the editor stuff, and eventually the editor was like, Brrr! and I was like, ah, like a duck. And then I fought him. Yeah, people might remember that if they watched my Fatal Frame 1 walkthrough, me screaming like a duck. That was, a, that was awesome. Ah. Please don't tell me he mutters ropes. Another Fatal Frame 1 reference right there. I said reference. <laughs> Ring around the rosy. Okay, let's save. Yep, this is a save point. It looks... I like that save point. It looks interesting. I'm going to save over the second file. The first one isn't even that far in either. Yes, I made sure to get some practice, so shush. 
<sighs> what? Did something glow on the ground for a second? That was weird. I feel like we're being watched by someone. Yeah, you know what? Now that you said that, I don't want to stay in here because I'm afraid something's gonna like randomly pop up by those boxes. Move, you She-Hulk! Ugh. Uh, I really gotta get used to these controls. The way she walks in the camera sometimes takes time to get used to. But it's still good. <laughs>